here. I've got uh, some knives, forks, spoons. I've got plates and I have cups that look like plastic cups, but they're not plastic. Uh, they also sell on Amazon. They have the coffee cups. They'll have the bowls. Uh, they have the smaller plates for desserts and snacks. They also have straws. Now the one that got me the most excited and caught my attention when I was at the store was these, the cups, because they look like plastic cups, but they're far from it. Uh, I've seen items like plates and stuff that, that uh, you can um, you know, put in your compost and it'll break down, but I've never seen anything uh, like a cup or the knives, forks, spoons. So um, let's start with this. There we go. Here you can see this is the logo and name of the company that makes it. It's called Repurpose. And uh, this is made completely from plants so that um, so it's good for the environment. And it's really cool. I mean, these look just like the oil-based plastic cups, except they're completely made from plants. And um, you get 20 of them. These are 12 ounces. That's a good size for when you're having a party. I uh, don't want the cups too big. So we've got that. The next thing is, these are the plates. Now a lot of places have the, the plates. Um, but I did like that this company is completely uh, a green company. So uh, if I had a choice between this and, and one that was made from a division of a, a bigger company that makes plastic, I would pick this one. Now here you get um, 20 9 inch plates. Now these, they say that you can put it in the microwave, also the freezer, um, tree free. These are made from sugar cane and um, heavy duty. So they seem pretty heavy duty. Uh, so that looks good. And then the last thing here, um, these are the nice fork spoons. Um, here you get 24, uh, eight of each, so basically it's for eight people. So I've got these three items to show you today. I'm going to get them out of the packages, and I'm going to try them out. I want to see how well they hold up uh, with uh, food and water and all that kind of stuff. First up to try out are the plates. Uh, this one, I just added some uh, noodles and some liquid because liquid is usually a pretty good test to see how well a paper plate will hold up. Uh, and in this one, it's the same thing, except I put it in the microwave for one full minute. Um, let's take a look at this one. And it seems to be pretty good. I mean, I, I was kind of expecting it to, to be more wanting to, to leak at the bottom because of all this liquid, but uh, seems to be doing all right. I think these kind of plates are most stable and strongest if you hold them like this as opposed to this where it's easy to <laughs> it's easy for it to tilt. Um, but it seems to be doing really well with all this uh, liquid I've got in it that's hot because I went ahead and uh, boiled some water and this is basically ramen soup. So it was boiling hot when I put it in. This one was also boiling hot, and then I put it in the microwave for a minute, so this one had even more um, heat added to it. Um, again, the bottom feels really good. When I first got it out, it felt like it might be a little bit moist on the bottom, but then after like a minute, it's it's drying out. So, because um, I was thinking, oh no, it's going to start leaking, but it didn't. <laughs> And again, this also, um, the, the strongest and best way to hold it is like that. Um, so definitely pass the microwave test and something that's fairly heavy because you could also like say, well, spaghetti or something like that. And it's holding up really well. So it's not like flexing and it's got all that liquid in it that's hot and it's not um, leaking. So, so that's really good. Now next are the utensils that I will use here and um, let's see how strong they are. Yeah, these are really, I'm really impressed with these knives and forks. I was not expecting them to be very good. Um, 
you know, you're doing your ramen noodles or your spaghetti. Um, you got to be able to use this without it breaking. Let's say you have to cut something. Then, um, let's see how that works. Seems, seems to be doing all right. So you don't want to do it too much on there. You don't want to make a hole in it. But uh, it's, it's holding up really well. And uh, I'm loving these a lot. Let's see all that. And the spoon's pretty nice. It's, it's, it's not like a gigantic spoon, but it's definitely enough if you're eating uh, uh, food and maybe a soup. It's not really a dedicated soup spoon, which would be a little bit bigger, but uh, that seems to be doing very well. All right, so those did fantastic. Now let's take a look at the cup. Okay, here's the cup. Uh, I did water with ice. That's pretty much what I drink all day long. Once in a while I do almond milk if I'm doing a little shake or something. And let's see if we can get a close-up of it. Actually, you can probably see the logo a little better here, too. And flexing it. Not cracking. You don't hear any splitting. You don't see any water pouring out. Um, these actually are really... <laughs> I'm very, very impressed with these. Um, very, very sturdy. Perfect size with the 12 ounce, and um, is quality-wise very, very nice. I'm, I'm loving that. Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is the end of the review today.